What is up? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Gamers Ledge. I am your host, Mark, former music director, and um, that means that I used to actually end up controlling what went on the radio at the music station I worked at, and uh, we're here to do something a little different today. I've never reacted to an epic rap battles of history. However, uh, I do very much watch a lot of reaction videos um, to see what other people are doing, how they do them. And uh, um, Screwface Gene is uh, one of the reactors I actually really enjoy. I've watched his channel grow, and he actually made it onto Epic Rap Battle. And this is brand new, dropped as of today. So I wanted to, re I wanted to see what he did. Now, normally when they have guest people on, they write their own bars. I'm going to assume that's the the uh, uh, same here. So we'll find out. But I'm looking forward to this. Uh, so let's jump right in. And if you haven't. Please subscribe to the channel. That's very helpful. Okay, Mansa Muso. I believe I know a little bit about that person. I believe they bought a bunch of gold, traded salt for gold in um, Africa. That's about as much as I know. And I will be stopping a lot to break down the bars, but then I'm going to watch the whole thing over at the end because that's how I do it. Um, so appreciate your patience, but I want to I want to analyze these bars, break it down, especially when you get the words like Epic Rap Battle does. I like to think about what the meanings are and, and kind of go through that process. So yeah, interested in this already. It's so cool to see him as someone that's actually reacting. It's pretty awesome. I know he had to be hyped. Ooh, listen to that rhyme scheme. He's coming with battle bar right off the get-go. Wow, that's a fast open. Walla by the Holy Quran, Amazon. Walla by the Holy Quran. I really like that rhyme scheme. Inflict inflammatory damage on Amazon. That's cool. <laughs> look at him strut <laughs> look at him strutting in there <laughs> that's hilarious oh he had, he had to have so much fun with this ooh king of molly with gold bars you can't escape from. So you got gold bars because he bought he bought all the gold. But then he's got gold bars because he's spitting hot fire. But then gold bars that you can't escape from. Is that a triple? Like prison bars? I think that's a triple. I think that's a... Uh, in honor of Screwface Gene, he does this on his channel. That's a... Ba -ba -ba, Don DeMarco. Bang, bang. That's... If that's the triple that I think it is, I think that's a hell of a bar right there. That's crazy. His face. What are you going to do with that face? Except laugh. That's hilarious. Oh, oh, I leave footprints in the Sahara. I know hot tracks because he's spitting hot tracks. That's that's really good. Dude, you got that algorithm, algorithm, algorithm. That's I like my puns. And that's fantastic. I bust dorks like dot com bubbles. Yeah. I'm landing blows you can't dodge like sales. This ain't sales tax. Hot tracks. Nah, you can't. You got that algorithm. Here's another 
nugget of advice to get your union problems handled on workers that don't piss? Hire some camel. I expend a... Of course, they're referring to the the uh, people that wanted to use unionize because uh, working conditions at Amazon were not great. That's pretty funny. Hire some camels. Ooh, that is a bar right there. Just like straight coming for his throat. I expanded the horizons of the people with libraries and mosques while you just chopped off the top of all the mom and pop shops wow that's a hell of a bar great great flow great rhyme scheme great pattern love it that is i think the best bar so far maybe I take it back. That was the bar right there. He come, he's coming punching. He's coming swinging for Jeff Bezos' head. All you widened was the gap between the haves and the have-nots. So now they're either ordering or they're living in your cardboard box. That's horrific and a fantastic bar. That is wow. Wow. I think if... Screwface Gene did write this. Like my level of respect for his rapping writing just went up like three three points. That's that's a Don DeMarco bang bang. That's fantastic. I can't do that because that's his deal, but that's straight fire. I love it. Wow, Jeff Bezos is clowning. He's coming with the comedy here. I mean, look at that face. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be enough because that was, I mean, Screwface Gene. It, and this is actually something that is unusual. They gave him like almost an entire minute. Yeah, 57 seconds. He had a full minute. Normally, it's it's like 20 to 30 seconds of intro goes back to the other verse, and then we get some back and forth. But that was a long, that was a long intro segment, and he there was a lot to unpack there. He came out punching, and Bezos is going to clown his way through for like a, probably another minute. I don't know. We'll see. At Amazon, our product research is phenomenal, but I've never heard your story. And I own Audible. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Kanye West Africa. Wow. That's Wow. That that's a wow. I am not touching that. It's just a wow. And I own Audible. So go take some more gold there, Kanye West Africa. I'm hotter than the soundtrack to Battlestar Galactica. Weak. I serve more people on the web than Spider-Man. Okay, that's a good bar, but it's still like, that's just gloating, right? That's just building yourself up. It's not really attacking your opponent, which is what rap battles are supposed to do. So, you know... I mean, okay, he, I don't know. I don't know. I think this Jeff Bezos is pretty weak. We'll, we'll, we'll see here. Like you leave, economy's inflated. You're about to taste some of that salt that you traded. It's a long-term play and giving you wealth away. Because now I feed your whole country for the price of a cup of coffee per day. Wow. Okay. I take it back. That was a definite swing. And if you're not sure how, it's, it's, Yes, it's there there I would say it's twofold, right? It's number one making fun of the fact that he's saying that, you know, people pitch in for a cup of coffee a day can feed the children of your country. But when you think about that, he's basically saying, Oh, your strategy of, 
you know, building up all that wealth and then giving it away didn't work out in the end because look at the state of your country today. Meaning that what he did had no effect. That that's that's harsh and a bar. That's one for Jeff Bezos. Okay, so I don't know anything about the accidentally killing your mom part, but the ending there, I mean, that could have been, he's pointing it out, and that's good, but at the same time, he didn't do anything with it, he just made a diapers.com joke, so I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure that was the strongest, he had that one really good bar, and that was about it. Wow. Wow, I like that. I like he just changed the rhyme scheme right in the middle of it. But yeah, I really like he again, he's coming out swinging. He's like, you won't married one woman and she cut you in half. Oh my god. <laughs> Feed me Seymour. Woo! Botox injections, anyone? Woo! Shout out to Big Ange. My wife loves Big Ange, even though she's not alive anymore. <laughs> Feed me Seymour lips. Woof! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, we're normally a family-friendly show. I can't control the content on here. A little bit of swearing, a little bit of risque stuff, but it's pretty funny, I gotta admit. Shink. Okay. All right, yeah, you know that's a weird transition to be honest, because he was he was like in the pocket, he was going for the jugular, and then he stopped to make a fix your face. No wonder you bought Twitch. I don't know. That was I really like the middle of this though. Really like the middle. Of this. Oh, that was... I like it. That was a nice set, a set of wordplay. I like that very much. Blue Origin is the name of the, his ship, his, his spaceship building company. I did not know that his dad left when he was little because he liked unicycles more than Jeff. That's kind of sad. There's a little commentary about the shape of the, the spaceship. Oh my god. <laughs> You're really not supposed to do that to my understanding, but hey, I'm just think it's funny a la mode is that's a good turn of phrase. Fantastic. All right. Let's see what Bezos has. I'm on top. I'm ice cold. This must I, again, I think I think the Screwface Gene Monsa Musa is coming for blood, and Bezos has gotten a couple zingers in there, but he's still just clowning. Weak. Okay, that's a good flex. I got forty billion back in a month, even though I gave. Yeah, all right. That that's kind of all right. Billion, so what? Every penny back only took me a month. 
See, it's good because it deflates his argument to a point, but still. Sorry, I know. I pause a lot. My bad. One click, I get you there overnight, free shipping. I re- <laughs> Again, he's just clowning. There's no, like, he's not going for the jugular. I do like this line about three years to trek to Mecca. One click, you get there overnight instead. I'm a hard corporate, hardcore, top tier of the, fo- I'm hard corporate, top tier of the Forbes list. Yeah, I kind of like that rhyme scheme. I'll get you there overnight with free shipping. I'm hard corporate, top tier of the Forbes list. You couldn't even hit top tier in 6-6. I'm- okay, that's a little bit, that's pretty weak. I'm calling it now, that's pretty weak. That's pretty weak rhyming Civ 6 with Forbes list and corporate. Civ 6. That's pretty weak. <laughs> okay, I like the very end because it's a double because he's we're talking about rap skills, but then also programming skills because you can you can program it. They, they call when you set things up on Alexa to do things automatically. Skills, so programmatically, that's that's nice. But man, I gotta say, Mansa Musa, Screwfe- Screwface Gene, just like murdered Jeff Bezos with the exception of that one line in the first verse of Bezos. What do you think? Who do you think won? I think this was an excellent video. Um, you know, on the rap battle scale, I would say, you know, it was a little one-sided. Epic rap battle history scale, it's a little one-sided. But still, I thought it was pretty good. I really like the performances. History. That's awesome. I think that's that's really good. I'd give it I'd give it a solid eight out of ten. I thought it was really good, um, and it's an unusual pairing. And a lot of people get to learn about Mansa Musa, who may not have ever really studied that. Um, I only remember it because I had no idea what, who it was in uh, in college, and then I had to write a couple papers. So that's kind of cool. Um, Who do you think won? Let us know in the comments below. Um, That's going to do it for this video. Again, congratulations to Screwface Gene for finally getting on Epic Rap Battle. That had to be a blast for him. Uh, I'm interested to see if he posts something a little bit later uh, about the process or about what it was like to be on there. That should be pretty cool. Uh, Let us know if you want want us to do more uh, Epic Rap Battle reactions. You can do so by hitting that like button. And of course, if you're not subscribed, uh, do subscribe to the channel. That helps us out a lot. Uh, Also, as always, if you'd like to support us, if you're on YouTube or Twitch, you can hit that subscribe button to become one of our rock stars. If you're on YouTube, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and of course, the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload new content, which is almost every single day of the week, Monday through Friday. Last but not least, patreon.com slash gamersledge to get your name on every single show that we do as one of our uh, producers just like the folks that are on the screen right now are Patreon and Twitch producers. So thank you to all of them. Uh, And as always, thank you for watching, especially if you made it this far. Uh, If you did make it this far, let me know what your favorite epic rap battle is in the comments below, and maybe I'll react to that one next if we do more of these. So thanks for watching, and until next time, be excellent to each other. And of course, game on.